I, I know there's <laughs> things you can do in a game, you know, to preserve Chucky and get him rest, get him right out for the media time. Allen's probably capable of playing 37 plus minutes, but how much of a concern is the backup point guard spot right now? And developing a guy you know, that you can trust to bring the ball up the floor and just get you into your stuff. Yeah, I think we're trying to develop depth at every position, so that's no different than any other. Um, so we've got other guys that are working at it, trying to learn what we're doing. Um, at the same time, you know, Chucky's got to continue to do a better job of, of playing through some rough patches. Um, so I think it's something we always, with every position, I want to make sure we're not overloading too much. So that's modification in practice. That's you know adjusting as we can in games. Um, and we got to develop depth for the long run anyway. So whether he was playing, you know, 30 minutes or 35 or 25, um, we've got to continue to develop depth with other guys. Greg, picking up off of that, you've had four guys play point this season so far. What do each of them offer into that position? Well, uh, they're all different, obviously. I mean, Chucky's the one with the most experience in doing it in, in our system. Um, Max has experience in terms of playing in college. Obviously, a different player, type of player than Chucky. Uh, Isaac has done it in our system, but we've added some new things this year that are that are new to everybody. And obviously, Kamari brings a little more juice with the ball in terms of speed and athleticism. So, I think there's a they're all different, uh, and I think I've never asked one to be like the other. Uh, I want them to play to be the best version of themselves, and that the only problem here prerequisite for all of them is take care of the ball. You know, don't turn it over. And for the most part, we've done a decent job of it. Um, we got to continue to get better, and, and we will. But uh, they understand that it's, you know, there's a, at that position, we've put a lot of responsibility on it, and, and they have a lot on their plate, a lot on their shoulders. So um, don't try to overcomplicate it. It's simple. Um, understanding the progression of possessions, meaning if we've got two or three possessions of bad shots or bad possessions, we've got to get something really good. Um, and if we're on a roll, then we've got to keep attacking and keep that pace. But So just getting the feel for that, uh, communicating with teammates, calling specials, those type of things in the dead ball situation. So there's a lot that they have to do to navigate or, or help facilitate from the bench um, in addition to their own game. So they have to concentrate on their own game, but also they're a conduit between myself and our staff on the bench you know, onto the floor for those huddles and, and mini timeouts and those type of things when there's a stoppage to relay either messages or sets or whatever it may be. So uh, I think they're all you know, have strength and all have things they got to get better at. What was your biggest point of emphasis on what you want to see this team improve upon after the Green Bay game? Just slowing down. I mean, the shots we missed around the rim, we're going 150 miles an hour. We lost balance. We were tripping over ourselves at times. And I think the, the more we did that, the worse it got. We pressed and tried to force things that weren't there. So just having patience. Don't press. Don't force things. Let's move the ball. Let's get better shots. Let's get on balance when we do shoot it. Because um, when we did, I clips of when we did, we had positive results. And so they see the how-to and the results of that. And they also see what happens when we get sped up and play off balance and, and try to do things that, or, or uh, create things that aren't there. So let's let the game offensively. You can't play the game basketball specifically on the offensive end really tense. And, and at times we, you know, we, we got too tense and played too hyper, so to speak. So let's take one less Red Bull before we take the floor or Mountain Dew or whatever they have and calm down when, when things get sped up a little fast. Take a chill. I got to put my lavender safe back in um, to, to get us to relax a little bit. <laughs> uh, do you think that Chucky needs to be a little more aggressive uh, early on in games? Or do you think no. that he's been fine this week? No, I think he's been fine. He's I, just I think hit the shots? Get better shots, you know? Um, let's get to the rim and get fouled. Let's get. Um, not put ourselves in a position where we have to take a tough one, play more on balance. Um, thought he did a good job late of penetrating, pivoting, and finding C for that three. More of that from, from start to finish. Got in the paint, played off two feet late in the game. So just having those type of plays be the, the norm and not the exception. How much of that applies to Kamari? Because on Monday you said he was one of the guys you want to see get more minutes. What does he specifically have to do to earn those minutes? I think take care of the ball. Um, that's that's one of them. He gets stripped on a drive to the rim. 
Um, you know, just the little things that he's still defensively. You know, we don't, one of our main rules is don't get back cut to the rim. So just, I think the more you can show that you understand some of those simple things, the more it invokes trust into a staff to say, all right, if it comes crunch situation time, you know, who can we have on the floor? So that's, uh, and some of it has to do with practice. You got to do that in practice, it's not just in games. So he's, he's coming, he's learning. I think he's practiced better, more consistently. He has a, a better understanding um, of, what we want here and what's required. So now it's a matter of translating that to when you get into games too. I'm a little worried about you because you haven't traveled in a while, so you get to travel again. It's mm -hmm. kind of a horrible trip for sure. I know it is. Uh, guy like me, I got to pack a lot of sunscreen. I believe it. You know? <laughs> Excited about getting back down there. What do you tell your kids? Is it, is it hard to, you know, like, to stay focused when you, when you do something like that? In, in no, the I mean, you, they understand there's going to be a little bit of time for recreation or a little sun time. We talked about that over the last day or so. Um, just, you know, we're going to enjoy it, but at the same time, we know. You know, first and foremost, we have a game against Dayton that's going to be a, you know, it's the best team by far that we've played all year, so, um, to date. So we'll have our hands full with that on Wednesday. And, uh, you know, we'll have, they'll have a plenty on our schedule that they'll have us doing with the event. Um, there'll be a little bit of free time here and there. Um, but by and large, they understand it's, um, most of these guys have been in these type of events before, regardless of where it is. It's a great event. It's one of the best, along with Maui. Um, in terms of location, the competition is going to be fierce. So it, it's going to be an opportunity for us to show if we can get better because we're going to we're going to have to in a big way. Greg, you've been talking about ta taking the time to find and settle in on a rotation. How does playing three games in a row kind of help figure it out? Well, you're going to have to play. I think um, hopefully the rotation helps in that regard because of fatigue of playing back to back games three days in a row. So. You still want to play well and not put yourself in position each day to play in the winner's bracket the next day. So if the rotation is deep or if it's short, it, it's all about what happens in that specific day. And don't worry about game two or game three until one or two are over with. So in terms of who's playing and what position and what minutes, we approach it as one game at a time much like a postseason, like you have to win to advance and, and you have to do what's required in that given day to make sure you're moving on in that side of the bracket.